Hi, Rob Crickenden here, Windows Insider MVP. And over the next week or so, I'll be putting the Surface Laptop Go 2 through the paces. I'll be starting with the out-of-box experience, what it's like powering on, connecting to the network and so, and I'll be using it as my daily driver at work, uh, both in client meetings, um, out and about, working at home, and uh, if I venture into the office, then in the office as well. I'll be running all my normal applications on, on the device, and I'll be comparing the performance to it to my, my daily driver machine, which is a, a Microsoft Surface Book 2, uh, to see how it performs for everyday tasks. So, um, let's check back in a minute. So the out-of-box experience is really quite slick. It's, it's the Windows 11 device um, that ships as standard. We do usually use Windows Autopilot within the office environment, but I've disconfigured this so I can set the device up manually. So I'm gonna click through a few times um, and the device will uh, enter Windows 11 and I'll then set it up for use with work. So I'm not gonna bore you with all the clicks, um, but if you've seen the Windows 11 setup process, that is pretty cool. First thing to know on the laptop Go series is, uh, whilst there's a camera, there's no Windows Hello camera, so instead there is a fingerprint reader on the keyboard. So to register for things like Windows Hello, we need to register our fingerprint. So I'm gonna register my fingerprint now. So here we go, fingerprint recognized and enrolled, so let's carry on setup. A few updates to run, just, uh, Quite expected, I guess. Loving the Windows 11 uh, startup sequence. Definitely a bit of sequence shortened here. It is uh, it is taking a couple of minutes now. Okay, so actually that was about a minute and a half and we're into Windows 11, so we've got a device uh, newly set up, all ready to go. So it's a new device, it's not been out long, uh, but just because the first thing we should really do, it will do it in the background if we don't, but it's just I'm gonna run a quick update and just check that all the updates and drivers and things are in. Microsoft have a habit of uh, releasing firmware updates for devices uh, pretty much straight after their release. So I just wanna make sure the devices got all the Windows updates applied and all the driver updates. So you can see here, it's quite a few updates to run. So we're just gonna go and get those. And once it's done, we will reboot the device and we will start our tests. So last step update is installing. Once it's done, we can reboot and we can uh, crack on with the testing. So let's take a quick look at the device. So very nice surface device as you'd expect. Got the, um, the standard platinum color. Uh, still carries the Surface Connector port. So something Microsoft keeps saying they will eventually uh, get rid of, but um, as you can see, this does have the, the Surface Connector on board. Uh, on the other side, you can see that there are a standard USB-A, a USB-C, and a headphone socket, which again is quite rare on most other Surface devices. Um, it's pretty thin, um, it's quite light to touch, easy to open and so the device opens comes on pretty quickly you can see the the glowing keyboard there that's uh, asking me to put my finger on for uh, fingerprint recognition for windows hello uh, which i will just do like that and you'll see that goes straight in um, to the screen there we go straight in um, so there we are within the windows os um, it's quick i mean it's just what i would expect really um, before i put it through the paces um, start menu is pretty fluid and quick um, the browser loads pretty quickly. I go straight into great into all my apps um, and things just as I'd expect. Um, feels feels really good. Um, feels really nice. Um, it is a it is a relatively uh, up to date device. It's the eleventh gen chipsets. Um, it's got some. Uh, it's got the good graphics card memory, all those kind of things. So it is a it is a base improvement on the previous model. Um, it's not. A beefy device it's certainly not as powerful as a service laptop 4 uh, or, or laptop studio but it's it feels really good as as the previous generation of laptop devices go laptop goes um, and the pro uh, go as well the the, the surface go um, really good um, so I'm gonna use it as I say through the rest of the week I've been mucking about with it a little bit today installing apps updating it um, running a few office apps and things like that but I'm gonna give it a proper go see how I get on with it um, and I will report back once I've done that and let you know how it all runs. Uh, 
start at the end of uh, almost three weeks now of putting the Surface Laptop 2 through its paces. Um, it's been a, been a fantastic experience actually. I've used it uh, for uh, customer meetings, I've had it in the office, I've had it connected to my 4K screen, uh, as you'll see from my blog in the link below. Uh, I've been using it for a little bit of Xbox game streaming as well, which has uh, been, been pretty good considering the, uh, the graphics uh, specification of the device. Um, but it's, it's run really well. You can see here from, um, from Task Manager, um, you can see the processor here, 11th Gen uh, i5, 1135G7. Um, it's running well. I've got a lot of apps open. I've got um, all the core Office apps, Outlook, Excel, Teams, which obviously is always memory hungry. Um, numerous um, tabs in Edge, which I really should close down, but the sleep function in Edge works works really, really well. Uh, it's running Windows 11, obviously. Uh, this is an insider uh, build on the release preview, so um, slightly ahead of the core release, um, but, but absolutely fantastic. Um, lots of apps that I'm running. Um, you can see here on the process list, there is, there is a full set of apps, everything I'd expect to run um, on a normal day. Battery's been pretty good. Um, eight-ish hours on, on battery, so um, no, nowhere near the, the full sort of 13, 14 hours that, that's promised, but bear in mind this is on Wi-Fi, um, it's out and about, the screen's relatively bright because it's been so sunny outside, um, and I have I've really have been using it as my main driver. Lots of video calls, uh, wireless headsets, all those kind of things. So it's been a really great experience. I definitely recommend this device for anybody that doesn't need something super powerful. Um, to be honest, this is an i5 chipset, 16 gig RAM. Um, it's good enough for, for pretty much everyone. The size is good. Um, it's certainly bigger than the Surface Go um, brand. It's a bit smaller than the, the Surface Laptop, um, but it runs really well. It's really lightweight. So it's a fantastic device. I would certainly recommend it and significantly cheaper than the higher premium level devices from Microsoft and, and the other kind of leading OEMs. So all in all, um, gets a massive thumbs up from me. And um, if you want to read more about how a device performs and the specification, then please read the blog uh, below. Thank you.